What's up YouTube, this is Groudon Empire and I am back for another episode of my Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Raiding Battle Spot Single Laddering Series. And right now I'm going to be doing my Mega Blastoise Team Part 2. Now, for you guys that don't know, I've already done pretty much, pretty much all of the new Oras Megas in a playlist, it's part of the same playlist as the earlier episodes, definitely check that out. I haven't done Salamence or Latios and Latias, but I've done every other new Oras Mega, so if you're interested in that, definitely give that playlist a go. As I try to use different Pokemon, utilizing competitive teams that, you know, trying to win as much as possible, but also trying to make use of the Pokemon so it doesn't just take a backseat and it actually has a spotlight. However, the potential of the Pokemon and how good it is or how bad it is really dictates how much uh, the team is going to be as a whole because if I'm trying to make that Pokemon stand out, the rest of the team has to, you know, be uh, compromised in how good it can possibly be, alright? And if the Pokemon is really good, then the rest of the team can be as good as I need them to be, you know what I'm saying? So uh, without further ado, let's just get right into this, press the challenge button, definitely check out part one of Mega Blastoise if you haven't already. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, I know I covered Mega Aggron as well. Part of the XY Megas. And I only did one episode on it so far. But, seriously, after that episode... And we find somebody with a really high rating. Let's see what we can do versus our opponent. After that episode... I don't know if anyone can honestly tell me if they'd really like me to do more. Like, of that and try to actually have fun doing it, you know? So really, I would like, like, I'll see what you guys have to say on that video once it's uploaded. Maybe I'll do Aggron again in the future. Maybe I won't. I really don't want to, but we'll see what happens depending on how many people, whatever, whatever. But let's get right into this. Our opponent has an extremely high rating. I need rocks because of that Charizard. And I want Talonflame. No, I don't. Why would I want Talonflame? Hmm? Is there a good reason to have Talonflame? I want to be real here. I want Blastoise. Blastoise tears everything apart. It really, really does. That might be a Paris Trapping core though, I don't know. With the uh, Azumarill? We'll see what happens. Uh, That Charizard gives me nightmares. I want to use Volcarona. See, that's a Charizard Y. I'm dead. And Blastoise is for the Porygon too, but I need Porygon 2 to die. Talonflame is useful for Ferrothorn, Azumarill, and Charizard, and Gengar. But Porygon 2 and Impaladon I need Blastoise for. If I use Volcarona... If I use Azumarill... Uh, he's going to start off with Gengar, most likely. That's what I'm predicting, anyway. Talonflame in the back. Guard Town, Blastoise, Talonflame. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Blastoise is slow, so like that's a serious problem, because even though I can take on Charizard, if it's a Charizard Y, even if it's a Charizard X, I might get 2-hit KO'd by Dragon Claw. I have no super effective moves versus it, because I don't have Dragon. Starts off with a Porygon 2. I need to make sure I have Stealth Rock on the field. He has Analytic. No, he has Download. Oh my goodness. Why? Why does he have why does he have this ability? Whatever, whatever. Just, just use the Stealth Rock. If that Charizard can get weakened weakened, I might be in great shape. I need this thing to die. I, I have to use like I have to use Outrage next turn. I literally have no choice. I have to use my strongest move to as much damage as possible. He's going to go out into Ferrothorn. Or he can go out into this thing. Th that works too. That works too. I was so afraid, yo. He's going to go out into Ferrothorn. I was so afraid. Oh my goodness, that critical hit was amazing! 
Yo, yo, what can Blastoise do? I'm gonna run a calc. This guy has so many points. I have to run a calc. I have no choice. I have to. I absolutely have to run a calc. I'm not losing this. Uh, 36, 36, 36, 36. I'm timid nature, level 50, come on. All right, so Hippowdon. The fact that a crit did that much, he might be mixed wall. Should I use Ice Beam? Should I use Aura Sphere? Uh, definitely going out into Blastoise, I know that, but what am I going to use is a real question. Huh. I think it would be in my best interest to actually use Dark Pulse? No, Hydro Pump. No, Ice Beam. Shoot! I don't know what my best move is. I'm going to Mega Evolve and go for an Aura Sphere. But do I want to do that? I'll do that. I'll do that. I'm going to Mega Evolve, go for an Aura Sphere, because I think... Man, he didn't switch out. I'm in trouble. Oh no, it's not gonna kill. I know it's not gonna kill this guy, especially bulky. Okay, all right, no, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. He's not gonna kill me, he's not gonna kill me. Oh my goodness, that did so much damage. I'm gonna go for Dark Pulse, just in case he goes out into a, uh, a Gengar. And, man, I needed to kill this thing with Ice Beam. What the heck is wrong with me? Man. Uh, I can go out into Talonflame right now. Because he didn't set up rocks. And like, I can just use Brave Bird. So I'm going to predict a Solar Beam, and then I'm going to use a Brave Bird on you. And I'll be in good shape. Let's see what happens. He's going to use a... I hope he doesn't use Focus Blast or some crap. Solar Beam. I four times resist that. So that's nice. That really, really is nice. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go for a U-turn. I don't want a sword stance. I just want to go for a U-turn. Shoot! He didn't switch out. That stinks. Why didn't he switch out? He has 1950 points. That's why. It's whatever. I'm going to switch back out into Talonflame. And I'm just going to use a Brave Bird. Of course he got a crit. When I want to go into Talonflame to use a Brave Bird to do damage before dying, especially to kill that thing potentially, of course you get a crit. I am so done with this. And we don't even know if that mattered or not. Like, if what would have happened next turn? This was such a good game, and then that turn messed everything up. That turn literally messed everything up. This is freaking ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. I got crit hacked. This game was such a good game, it could have been down to the wire, it would have been an amazing game, but no, the crit wants to say no, no epic shows for you. 
He could have won, I could have won, any of us could have actually ended up winning. It would have been an amazing game at the end if the crit did not happen and we actually got to see who would have made the right, who would have ended up making plays. If he made the right play, if I made the right play, it would have been an amazingly competitive and awesome game. But no, game doesn't want us to have a super competitive and amazing game to show. No, it just wants crits to make things faster. If he had the right read on me, he would have had the right uh, decision. Maybe he would have won. If I had the right read on him and I had the right decision, maybe I would have won. So we don't know what would have happened. And game doesn't want to let us find out either. Anyway, I'm going to go look for another game. It's ridiculous. So far, I'm 2 for 2. Uh, one of the games, I definitely could have won. It was hacked. Uh, part 1, you guys know what I'm talking about. And then this game right now was an extremely awesome game, except for that crit. If there was no crit, we would have seen if my opponent would have outplayed me or if I would have outplayed my opponent. That was a super, super competitive game. It was extremely fun. It's whatever, man. It's whatever. That's Pokemon for you guys. Crits, they really, really fun competitive games end up becoming, well... It would have been something, but now it's nothing kind of games. And games that would have been won end up becoming losses because of that, too. It's ridiculous. But whatever. We'll keep on going. Keep on trekking. We destroy crits, hopefully. Obviously, this is a good enough Blastoise team to hold its own versus an opponent at that high. Right? So do keep that in mind. Do keep that in mind. Uh, Alright, so my opponent has a... I need rocks for the Togekiss and Talonflame. Man, I hate this. I need a Zoomerol to deal with the you know Talonflame deals with. Okay, Talonflame deals with the Venusaur. Talonflame deals with so many things except for the Rotom Wash, and it hates Sucker Punch from Bisharp. So again, this might be another game where I can't actually bring the Blastoise in. I can't bring Blastoise this game. Shoot. I might bring Volcarona though. I'm going to bring Garchomp, Volcarona, and Talonflame. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But damn, that just stinks. I could have had such, like... Why is this kind of... I mean, I remember when I was using Mega Sceptile, one of the games was like a triple paralysis. That was ridiculous. That was crazy. But I won all the other games, so it doesn't even matter. I mean, I lost one of them. That was just funny, though. But this one is crazy. Like, that Sylveon game was a win. And this game... I mean, it could have been a win anyway. I mean, not necessarily. But, I mean, actually, it was a win. Who am I kidding? It was a win. Uh, I'm going to set up rocks. Do I need rocks? 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 Rocks help a lot. Togekiss and Landorus, they need tip damage. They absolutely need tip damage. I know he's gonna have a Rotom Wash with them. They all carry Sleep Powder, that's crazy. Uh, yeah. So I have Volcarona, but Volcarona doesn't have Lumberry on it. I am just going to use Earthquake right now. Um, I used Stealth Rock already, so I'm fine in that department. He's just going to keep on using Giga Drain on me. But yeah, that game though, that was such an am amazing game. Our opponent had a rating of 1957, man. 1957. And our game, or 1956 or something, and our game was going to go down to the wire. If I made the right play with Talonflame, if I outplayed my opponent, if I had the right read of my opponent, then I would have won that game. If my opponent outplayed me at the end as well, then they would have won the game. It was literally down, it would have been down to the wire. Literally. It's ridiculous, man. Using Outrage, gonna end up dying. Again, I need offensive momentum, that's why I'm not switching out. <sighs> what can we do, guys? We can't do anything about that. We literally ha we can't do anything about anything. Okay, no, that, was a, that was such a good game too, man. That's That makes me sad, that really does. 
But yeah, right now I'm just gonna go for a U-turn because he might just switch out into the into the Rotom Wash. That would be his smartest play. He literally should do that. And he does that. Nice. And I predict that and I go for a U-turn. That's not a Rotom Wash though. And I know Rotom Wash when I see Rotom Wash. Oh my goodness. Am I gonna lose this too? I might lose this too. If I use sword stance. Oh man. Oh man. I'm just gonna go for hidden power ice. Hopefully he misses his rock type move. And he lands it. Doesn't even matter. This is crazy man. I lose this game. I lose this game. If he has a Rotom Wash, he probably doesn't have Rotom Wash though. So I probably can still win this game. Probably. Probably not. Uh Can I kill Andres with Talon Flame? This is ridiculous, man. Why the hell is this happening to me? I should have just went for a sword stance. What the hell man? If I went for sword stance, I would have been fantastic fantastic position right now I'm not banded I'm sharpie I'm jolly yeah I, I can't kill this thing I can't kill this thing I have to sword stance I have to hope that he misses he doesn't miss yeah that's a wrap for us this game too That is just whack. That is just whack. We just got 3 0'd. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. <sighs> this is ridiculous, man. Well, we'll play one more game. We'll see what's going to happen. I am not. I am not liking this. I am not liking this at all. I'll tell you guys straight up. I am not liking this. I do not lose this much. I do not lose like this. This is freaking ridiculous. 1645 over 200 games when I play 227 or something I was already like or 300 I don't even know I was 1900 plus in X and Y and right now I'm at freaking 1645 just because I'm using different Pokemon and different bullcrap is happening this is absolutely ridiculous whatever though we just have to pull through see what's gonna happen definitely not using Mega Blastoise on my final team when I start seriously laddering but uh but yeah, man. How many wins do I have? I have an 11 game differential? I can't even tell. Who cares? I'll give the crap. And yeah, yeah, now we get matched with somebody lower. Like 10 million points lower than us. Not that I care because we could have won both games we just played. I don't, messed up. I messed up last turn. I didn't, I didn't use sword stance, but whatever, man. So you see, I lose two games. One of the games because of hacks. Another game because it's undecided. The hacks didn't let us see what would have happened. All right, it would have been a close game otherwise. And then a the third game that I end up losing is because of this, you know, misplaying. And misplaying will happen one every seven games. Or twice every seven games, or five, or whatever. But most of the time, I'm playing properly, and I'm most of the time I'm winning. But if hacks comes through, then it d completely messes up the entirety of the thing. That's ridiculous. All right, well, Whimsicott is going to be the start, the lead. Pretty darn sure about that. Pretty darn sure about that. And if that's the case, I'm going to start off with Talonflame. I'm going to go for a U-turn right from the get-go, and then. I might just go for Volcarona because Volcarona can set up on something and then I can just wreck house on uh, the, the, the guard chomp, the, the Aegis Slash, the, uh, that slow bro, the Gengar, really nice time. And last Pokemon will be Blastoise because Blastoise puts in work. So Talonflame, Volcarona, and Blastoise. Let's see what happens. See, I want to say this again. Part 1, 
First game, definitely was a winnable game on our part. If hacks didn't come through. First game in this episode was definitely also uh, a winnable game, but we will never know what would have happened. It was an extremely competitive game, but the hacks decided, hey, you know what? We're not going to let you have your down-to-the-wire game. Just, just lose. Just lose and everything will be fine. That's what happened. Freaking ridiculous. I'm going to go for a sword stance first turn, predicting a switch. If he stays in and kills me, I'm going to be angry. Of course I am. Why wouldn't I be? But uh, I'm already angry. And he freaking stays in. Well, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. I'm, gonna go for, I'm just going to go for Brave Bird. He's Sash. I know he is. I know he's Sash, but I'm not using U-Turn. I know he's Sash, but I am not using U-Turn. I could have literally used Brave Bird twice and I would have been winning here. Whatever though, I do have a Volcarona. I do have Giga Drain. I'll, I'll just set up on my opponent right now. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Let's see if they get Sludge Bomb hacks with Poison or if they get some other kind of hacks. Like, I don't know. Uh, Shadow Ball, Critting, and Special Defense Dropping. Bullcrap kind of stuff. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I'm bulky. I'm bulky. I'm going to keep on Quiver Dancing. That Tyranitar is going to ruin everything though, I'll tell you that right now. Tyranitar is going to ruin absolutely everything. But I am going to get greedy, because that's what I do. I get greedy. So I'm going to get greedy, I'm going to go for another Quiver Dance. I'm going to keep on going for Quiver Dance. I'm going to get myself six Quiver Dances, because he's not going to kill me. He might poison me, but it's whatever. No Destiny Bond. I'm gonna keep on Quiver Dancing. My opponent has 1493 rating. So I don't care. I mean, actually, I do. Yo, if he uses Encore with the Whimsicott, I'm dead. I'm dead. I literally am dead. But he doesn't have Whimsicott, so I'm in good shape. Otherwise, he would have went into Whimsicott already. Don't poison me. It didn't poison me. Great. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome! What I'm going to end up doing right now is I'm just going to Fury Dance. Because... Free Dancing is awesome. And Des Destiny Bond is gone, so it's nice. Not going to get too greedy. Special Attack buff? No? Alright, that's understandable. That's understandable. Freaking ridiculous, man. At least if Whimsicott comes in, he can't, he can't encore me into Quiver Dance. But we're gonna die to a Tyranitar now. What? Tyranitar's gonna come in? What? Slow, bro. You didn't bring Tyranitar? Alright. Use Giga Drain right now. I don't have Bug Buzz. I have, I have Giga Drain. Uh, I don't have Bug Buzz because Giga Drain is like, it's better. You can deal with Swampert and stuff, and you can also, like, with enough buffs, you can take down your opponents anyway that are weak to bug, well, most of them. And then the ones that aren't, like like a dark type, like, like Hydreigon, for example, you can just use Hidden Power Ice. So, uh, it's good, it's going good. See, Giga Drain destroys that Mega Slow, bro. So I don't, ha I don't need Bug Buzz. Um, and, f and again, I can just set up on Cresselia's and just get, like, Fury Dance all the way and just kill him anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, he could have went into Whimsicott and killed, like, encored me into Quiver Dance. He would have been in fantastic shape, but he didn't do that, so that's whatever. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no, he can... Oh, he's going to use Giga... No? No? I thought he was going to use Encore on the uh, Giga, uh, Giga Drain. So my opponent is obviously inexperienced, so that's... This game was whatever. But the more experienced opponent that I had, 1957, first game in this video... <sighs> The RNG just didn't want us to have a super competitive game, which came to the wire, so we can see what would have happened if I would have ended up losing due to a last-minute 
bad play or my opponent was ended up losing due to me outplaying my opponent. So that was just... I'm really angry because that was such a good game. Such a good game. But the hacks had to ruin it. Ruin all of its potential. And then last game, I'm still salty about that, about that Sylveon crit. Like, I am so salty about that. Like, my goodness. Whatever though, I will be doing one more episode with this team. Hopefully the hacks is not there. And if there is hacks, at least only one game where we get the hacks. So it makes up for that Sylveon game. Because again, we don't know what would have happened in the 1956 rating opponent game. And the second game was just a misplay. Misplays happen every like four or five games anyway, so it's whatever. But that's why I'm so salty about those other two. It's whatever though, this is not good for my blood pressure. <laughs> So anyways, if you enjoyed what you saw, please remember to click that like button, leave a rating, subscribe to the channel, definitely check out the other content. I hit 1900 plus in X and Y. Check that out if you're interested. Link is in the description to the playlist. And also, I did other Mega Evolutions, the Oras Megas. I, I freaking love the Altaria content and the Gallade content that I put out. Definitely, I would love for you guys to check that out because that's some amazing stuff. That's 1700 plus material right there. Uh, when we're talking Altaria, if you're interested in that, in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. And also Beedrill, Sceptile, Pidgeot. I just love those 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 teams and whatnot if you want to check those out. This is Groudon Empire. Peace out.